Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omnifactory. And today we are going to make the wire mill. That is one of the things that we looked at in the quest book. The basic wire mill and it's an efficiency boost. It gives you much greater yield for wires for your ingots. So, um, some of the stuff we have already. Let's see. I've got some electric motors and tin cable, two tin cables. I've got tin cables, I've got circuits. I'm now making the machine hull. So I came over here to get some wrought iron plates. We need three. I've gone back round and I've relabeled um, my work tables because you know, I've been doing some remodeling and stuff and the boards got lost. So we need that casing machine hull. It's a machine hull. Okay, that's that. And of course they look exactly the same, which is a bit silly. There should be some little bit, but anyway, we got the machine hull. And um, what else do we need? What do I have in my backpack? I've got the two circuits, got the machine hull, wire mill, electric motors. I went ahead and made a whole batch of them. Electric motor. Actually, we only need four, right? And what else do we need? And we're missing two tin cables. Uh, players and wires. I need tin wires. So two tin wires and then the cable Oh now I need some rubber sheets. One of these makes sheets, I can't remember which one though. Or did I just make them up in my thing? I can't remember. See that's why it's important to um to label everything. Alright, let's have a look. Nope, wrong thing. Rubber. Okay. Where is I have seen that on my travels around I'm sure I had them maybe I didn't okay so we need a hammer do I have an extra hammer not there or was there yes I do have a hammer I have to take you off the wall where did you go oh it's in my inventory cool there and we need some sticky resin I have been I, I've I've been making a lot of rubber trees that's now my tree of choice oh, we got two stacks that's fine it's now my tree of choice to put outside because I mean we don't really need the hammers right not the hammers we don't really need the trees for anything else and the rubber wood changes into the rubber logs they change into jungle wood so it's still useful um what are we making here now rubber sheets okay two rubber sheets let's put up oh i need a sign i've also made um storage crates because I forgot that this was in the pack. What did I do with... Oh, the signs were in my inventory. Okay. See, it's a sign of... 
you know, me having a senior moment. Signs in my inventory. I'm only making here rubber sheets. All right. Rubber. It would help if I could spell. All right, rubber sheets. Okay. So we wanted two and one times tin cable. Alright, so we wanted two tin cables. Alright, I believe that is everything that we needed. Wire mill. And it's a LV, a basic wire mill. Okay, so it goes all the way up to wire mill 7. Good grief, that looks very, very futuristic. And it uses a it uses processors. That's how you know it's 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 futuristic. It's from the future. There is a basic wire mill. Do we get okay? Hey, I have no idea how you use this. I should have looked that up before I started recording. And I didn't get a chance to. Okay, we got the CEF. If I just put this on top, oh, that's got to be input. That's out. Oh, allow overclocking. Okay. And of course, that was the other thing I was supposed to look at the CEF and how it works. Because we have it. Oh, something that I did learn is that for the Steam Dynamo. In order for it to, to, even though there's energy stored in there, it's not it's not going to do anything with the energy, unless you um, it's got something in there to burn. So I think that might be why it didn't work last week. I did go and look. I did go and look that up. So as you can see, I've got a bit of a rubber plantation going on. I have got <laughs> rubber trees everywhere. All right, let's cut you down. I was looking at getting the um the actually additions there's a a, mag, a ring of magnetization and I thought yeah that's some that'd be something good to get but to make the uh empower is the empowerer I believe that's what it is the, the little doohickey in actually additions that turns like lapis into palace and that kind of thing it takes a lot all right ring of magnetization um crafter work table no all right to get restonia there you go atomic reconstructor to make that we need lead plates emitters and ender eye lens you need an auto clay for that so yeah it's a bit outside of our scope at the moment so we are not doing that yet but i do have my rubber plantation <laughs> because we we need lots of um we need lots of the the sticky resin and like i said the logs come in extremely handy so yeah just planting these I don't think I need any more we have a stack in a bit we're good but as you can see it's just everywhere which is good you can never have too many too much wood oh and I made a garden out here so I've been collecting stuff and um, growing food All right we need to go downstairs that's where all our stuff is Steam dynamo, so if we put in a stack of wood, yeah, that has just, and I'm guessing we need the, the conduit cable, uh, I had four, three, yeah. So 
So now this has this has energy in it. Conduit cable would help if I had it in my hand. And there's a basic wire mill. So do we put that there? It's not really Okay, so we don't put it on that bit. And we need the pickaxe to take it off. Where's my pickaxe? It's not in my hotbar. Okay, so that goes... Right, can we take that from the back then? Actually, no. I want to put the machines in front. Okay, so if we got that coming out, and then put a row of machines here... So if you put the wire mill here, nope, doesn't like that. And of course it doesn't really tell you what you're supposed to do with it. Okay, if I put it on top, is it going to draw energy straight from it? No. Alright, so we're going to have to leave this for now then. And at least take these two off and have the cable sticking out but at least we know that's got that's got stuff energy okay so we've made the wire mill uh, claim our omni pennies and the next thing is lv pistons find copper wire it doesn't tell you how to how to set up your stuff though Which is, I mean, do you just put it down? Because that's not connected. Oh, do I need to use the wrench? Um, where's the other wrench? This wrench. No. Do we have an ingot? We don't have an ingot. Let's go get an ingot. Um, tin. Because I'm guessing that needs some kind of power. That would go there, and I guess it extrudes it. Because it's going from bigger to smaller, so that's got to extrude it. Does this use some kind of battery, maybe? Although it, it doesn't make sense. Why would it have... Okay, this is just turning it around. It's not actually doing anything. Right, this is just turning this around. Oh. I don't know what I just did. Is that an input output thing? that off that's not letting me put no oh maybe maybe it doesn't need cables It's on the back. Let's take that off. Um, no, no recipes. I 
I'm pretty sure that that's some kind of... And I wonder what these are for. Are these to charge batteries? Maybe? I don't know. I'm so confused. I am so confused. Okay, I've literally spent like 10 minutes trying to work out what to do with this thing. Well, we'll leave it there. And I mean, there's no, there's no manual, right? Yeah, manual mill, no. Uh, and the only books that are coming up, um, trapped book, logistic pipes guide book, white book. Yeah, there's no knowledge written. What's a knowledge book? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we're done. We're done with that. Let's make the next thing. Alloy smelter. All right, we can four copper wires. All right, we can do that. And then maybe it will give us an idea on how to, um, that's bronze, isn't it? Do I have any more copper? Yes. I've only got nine copper, really? Okay, not good. We need to find, oh yeah, because I had a hard time finding copper. And the last time I bought some. All right, let's make a mining hammer. Actually no, let's do something else. Okay, I went and I had a look at some videos because I didn't know what I was doing, as you probably well know, and um, I happened to one of the videos, it wasn't really saying much, but then they went and read out the quest book, and then I realised the answer had been in the quest book all the time. Um, back in the putting it all together piece quest which was this one this one it says um, the CEF will transport transport transform power through its through the red dot and it says something about uh, where's the cables then attach your conductive iron cables to the red dot and it's like okay we made cables in, I think, one of the other, um, one of the quests we had to make four times conductive iron cables. So I went and hooked those up and it hooked up to the machine, which is great. And then if you look at the thing, it says it has energy in it. I need to go back upstairs and get another ingot because I went and put in the, the tin to test it and it works. And we need a stack of logs as well, because it burns through a lot of stuff. Where are my logs? A stack of logs and tin. Is there any tin here? No. Iron. We could take iron. We have some iron. I also did a bit of um, mining as well, because I'm running low on stuff. Because I actually I wanted diamonds and I couldn't find any diamonds. I mean, all the even though it's programmed to find diamonds, I wasn't finding any. Okay, so we've got the machine. Uh, there's my iron ingot. You put it in, it extrudes it, and I get two what two wires for my one ingot, which is cool. Right, let's put this in there so that could burn actually no we should take it out because we're not using it all it's going to do no nope. okay actually it's we can take it out it's fine i need to put a chest here so that we know that we have wood and stuff to burn but as i said i also i went mining 
I did find a couple of diamonds, but not many. And actually, I found about three of them, and then I thought, you know what? I need to enchant my pickaxe, because um, if this is how it's going to be, even though there's loads of diamond, even though there's loads of ores, if I do a search for, let me see, what's in my scanner right now? Shift click. Uh, rare ores. So that's I am emerald and diamond. Uh, there's one down there. There's some here. But the thing is, the ore that it's finding, it's not necessarily... Let's go down and have a look. It's not necessarily diamond. Out here. It could be... Um, it could be anything that it that it considers rare, which is a problem. All right, let's have a look now. All right, there's something in front of us, I think. I had a real problem trying to trying to um to decipher what it meant because it will tell you we have ore but then when you go and have a look you can't exactly find what it is okay we have what looks like this magnetite all right let's do another search yeah it's saying that there's stuff right in front of us Here, there, all right, that's magnetite. Yeah, that's the block that's lit up. So it's not exactly, yeah, it's not, it's not clear what it is. I, I need to get out from here now. So, um, yeah, so I thought, well, seeing that it's so hard to find diamonds, I need to make an enchanting table. All right, we'll make some bookshelves. I did go around, I've got 10. Oh no, that's just from the wood that I have. Not necessarily the books, I've got loads of books left. How many bookshelves? We have 10, we want five more. Right, let's set up around here and there's supposed to be a space. At least a space, if we set up, yeah, I'm really, I, I've never really done enchanting before this year because I've done mostly um, modded. That's what I love playing. So I've never really gotten into enchanting because why should I? So um, so yeah. So now it's like oh, I need to do stuff. Twenty-eight for fire protection, leech, and protection. I've only got five lapis. 11, oh yeah, because I don't have 28 levels. So I've learnt that if you just take a cheap one, it will reset. Efficiency, I need 28. I need to do some more mining. Withering, multi-shot and smite. I'm going to have to then take my chances with the pickaxe and just take because we don't have tinkers in this so I'm gonna have to take my chances with the pickaxe and um, and yeah just take the meager slim pickings that we have but on the plus side you get to see my mining area oh I forgot torches I should really put in um, some elevators so I put in steps all the way down. I've dug down to bedrock, which is good. Do I have? Oh, I'm seeing blacks, black spaces, blank spaces. I have to take these out. It should work for there. And then this is where all the fun starts. Let's see what we can find. Oh, 
well there's nothing come lurching out of the shadows yet which is, which is good That's the only thing with this. See, there's a couple of diamonds there. And I should really put... Oh no, it's in the next bit. Okay. Have to remember to look around and see what's there. Because there might be something waiting to, to jump out at me and say hi. And much as I love meeting the neighbours, I don't really want to meet them. It's not high on my list of priorities. Okay, that was better than I thought. Turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, so I'm very happy that they've got the um, flat, bed, flat bedrock mod in this pack. Because it's annoying to get down to bedrock and then you've got to do that whole dance thing. Because your bedrock's uneven. Alright, so there's a couple of diamonds there. I think we're alright in this bit. And then there's going to be stuff out there but the water will stop them. some more red patches here okay let's come and get these diamonds because that's what I really came for I came for diamonds but yeah I really I really should have should be able to to mine because that's that hurts but I need the diamonds I really do need the diamonds because although, although did they say there was a some kind of drill I don't know I can't remember I'm doing so many packs at the moment I'm not sure what's in what anymore we don't need any more redstone I've got plenty of redstone and all that green stuff on the way down I'm gonna have to have a look and see what that is because to be honest I didn't really look and see although I forgot we um we're mining for experience as well aren't we so yeah I do need the redstone I do need redstone yeah hmm There are a lot of ores, but like I said, I can't really find lots of rare ores. Because I did program the um, the scanner block that we had to make. Where is my scanner? Um, no, shift right click and change it out to look for diamond. So put that in, take that out and let's where should we point it let's point it this yeah let's point it this way nothing let's look up yeah there's there's no diamonds none that is so disheartening because you're finding abundant ores of everything else but not diamonds but the scanner thing I did find out that you can use it to um to find villages which is good um rare blocks and let's take out that one and that is common ores we don't want common ores right now so if I do the same thing now no nope. charge yeah the stuff there but it's not I don't know what the colors are for didn't we just do this I think I just did this with you guys but yeah I'm not sure what the colors are for but it's and does it show does it show redstone as rare no okay 
just occurred to me. All right, I'm going to have to keep mining off camera so that I can get four more levels. Oh, you know what? I went into the nether. I forgot to tell you guys. I went into the nether. I just made a portal and set my foot in there. I didn't really do any exploring. Does the scanner work in the nether? I didn't think about that one. Well, that's something we can investigate. Uh, zombie pigmen. That's all I'm seeing on the on the board. Zombie pigmen. On the mini map. Yeah, the nether is very... Well, it's vanilla. Normal. There's nothing awful. I didn't really check the map to see if I could see any um, fortresses or anything. Let's use the scanner. Nope. Oh. There's something here. Is that another quartz? Yeah, I think that's that's another quartz. Yeah, and then there's some it's gotta be another quartz that it can find it can see. Yeah, it's gotta be another quartz that it's identifying. There's gold up there. Okay, so we're gonna well not we, because obviously I'm not taking you along taking you guys along with me, but I'm gonna have to do another another trip into the nether and mine because oh crap yeah don't do that guys not a smart thing to do yeah not a very smart thing to do yeah but all I can see are zombie pigmen and lots of lava oh there seems to be lots of um, thing down there though lots of um, nether quartz. Alright, I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Yes, it is nether, nether, nether quartz. As, as, I guess as opposed to overworld nether, nether quartz. But I will leave you guys here and this is where I'm going to end the episode. So I'm going to do some mining, get stuff ready and in the next episode we can look at building I want to do the pumps and the pistons next week what's that compressor compacting drills oh we need pistons for compacting drills okay but yeah now that I know how to um how to turn in not turn in how to hook up the 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 machines I will do that and I will so I will get some more XP so I can enchant my pickaxe there's a ghast somewhere. Hopefully he doesn't come around here. Yep, so that's where I'm going to leave it. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.